Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have an interesting project for you. Um, I found this chair at a garage sale. It was five dollars and it had this really dated and ugly um, fabric on the chair. As you can see it's got these weird little little I don't know dots. There's a little red in there and there's a little blue in there with this hunter green and, and tan but I like the caning on the back of the chair. I like the little way it looks like a, a throne. I even like the way the arms are slightly worn. So what I was wondering is if I could just paint the entire chair, including the fabric on the chair. The, all the demonstrations that I've seen of fabric painting, there's never been a real pattern chair or all of the fabric that they've showed has been really light and as you can see this is not light at all there's definitely a pattern that'll show through and i want to use light paint over the top so i'm going to give it a try i'm going to get into it here all right so the first thing i've seen in all the demonstrations they say that you have to wet the fabric down but i'm going to mix up <clears throat> mix up my paint with a 50 50 water mix so you can see it's kind of soupy and then I'm going to spray paint or spray paint spray water so I've got my spray bottle this is just a plain water in this bottle um, I got a heavy-duty bottle to I replaced the the dollar store one I got a Rubbermaid heavy-duty bottle there's just plain tap water in there so I'm gonna hose down this fabric really well and um, just get it soaked. So as you can see, I really saturated the fabric very well. It is very wet. And I'm gonna take the 50-50 water mix paint and start rubbing it on okay so here is me adding the second coat of the 50 50 water paint mix and as you can see it is soaking into that fabric really 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 well it is not covering as much as I'd like to see it so but you it was soaking in just everywhere I kept working the fabric back and forth and at this point the fabric had gotten super super saturated with water between the spraying and the how thinned out the paint was and I wasn't really happy with what was happening so later that night I finally ran out of patience completely and I decided that I was going to use an undiluted paint mixture so I grabbed the bungalow 47 farmhouse sink white and I decided to just go full paint right on top of the fabric now the fabric was still a little damp from earlier in the day but it wasn't as saturated as it was and as you can see the non-diluted paint covered very well so this is more of what I was looking for I I run out of patience quickly and uh, I, I was not gonna be able to do 15 coats of paint on that seat so I went for the undiluted mixture and it started to come out more like what I wanted to see okay so uh, it's been a few days since I've been working on the chair uh, life happens but sometimes when the kids are home you just don't have time it is completely dry right now so I did do like a quick coat a quick sanding just to rough up the surface uh, I'm gonna get after it though I'm gonna get another coat on here I'm hoping to get it done today I'm hoping I can maybe get it in the September sale at Picket Fence Gals. If I can't, then at least Owatonna or my pop-up boutique that I'm having um, in October. So I really need to get this piece done. It's gorgeous. It's turning out so pretty, y'all. I'm just so thrilled with how it looks. 
Um, I don't know. I'm seeing this big blank white surface right here, and it, it feels a lot like canvas. And I really, really am starting to go. Well, maybe I'll maybe I'll stencil something on here. Or, I don't know. Because it's right now, it's it's so perfect for just about any setting. If I did a stencil on here like Paris or, you know, then it becomes specific. So I'm going to try and refrain from just a big blank canvas, people. It's so hard to leave it alone. But yeah, then it would take a very specific person. And uh, when you're doing this not for yourself and for sale, you kind of have to think of a broader market. So I may not stencil this piece. Part of me is wondering if I can spray this. And, you know, you see me with the art brush getting in the little holes for the caning. There's no other way to do caning. I mean, you gotta stipple it in and you've gotta work it into all the cracks and crevices. But I'm sitting here going, huh, I have a sprayer. I could uh, take this sucker out in the backyard and, and spray that in real fast. And now I'm wondering what that would do on the fabric, so. This is how I get in trouble. This is this is what happens as I get curious and then I start trying things. And sometimes they don't always work out. But you know what? <laughs> it's to your benefit because if I go out there and I spray this, I'll show you. So <laughs> there may be another cane chair in my future with fabric that is gonna get sprayed. Because right now I'm going. And here's, here's what I'm thinking. I may primer the fabric with the clear Bungalow 47 primer, most fantastic primer ever, and then spray the entire chair. I hate to say this, but I think I have a cane chair in my inventory that that, that might happen to. So, stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, make sure you uh, click the bell icon to be notified because if that happens you're going to want to see it because it could be an epic fail but um get on that If any of you have ever painted spindles before, but you gotta use the flip-flop maneuver, you know the flip-flop maneuver? That's a handy little tip for you. This, this will drive you crazy. This is so much more efficient. It's basically like slapping your brush on the edge of the spindle. That's how you do it. People, I am so happy with what's happening. Look at this. Look, at, look, 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 look. It's white. It is totally white. I am not seeing any of the dark greens coming through. None of that. This is still wet, so I'm not going to touch it. But it definitely has like a canvas feel. Afterwards, I'm going to sand. That's not wet there. I'm going to sand this down. And um, I'm going to put a clear coat over the top so pleased with what happened here. I got to finish the back and this, this is my workshop. This is the actual workshop. It's not a stunt workshop. Uh, so it's a mess. It's a hot mess down here. And I'm going to finish painting the back and the arms and the legs. And then I'm going to show you guys pictures of the finished product. So yeah, let's see how it turned out. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be hard to put a price tag on this and stick it in the shop. 
I uh, took 220 grit sandpaper, sanded down any high or bumpy spots on this piece, and then I clear coated it. And the texture came out more like leather when I was done, but leather's okay too. I mean, I was kind of going for canvas, but leather works too, and it's really, really pretty. Um, yeah, take a look at the pictures. light chalk paint. I'm so excited this opens up a whole new world of possibilities for me and you. If you've watched the entire video, I mean you're probably thinking the same thing I am is like I'm gonna go buy a lot more furniture. But um, yeah, I'm super excited with how it turned out. It's very pretty as you can see in the photos. Um, there was, I, I, I ended up, you can see distressing the piece. It's because there was some inadvertent cracking. Let's see if we can get I don't, I don't know that it'll focus on that. So it started cracking, the paint did, and it was one of those Bob Ross happy little accident moments. You know, it, when I saw it happening, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to sand it down, put another coat of paint on, and then I went, no, I like the way it looks. So it turned out really cool, and I did a little shabby chic thing on it, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Sometimes you just gotta go with it. Sometimes the piece has a mind of its own, and you know what? Sometimes it's right. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every week DIY tutorials and junk in videos. Plus, there's a few things like if you want to be a vintage seller, there are some de design tips on styling a booth, and I've got my Christmas for free series, which I will put a link in the cards I think on this side um, to my Christmas for free series find out how I'm gonna pay for Christmas without using any money out of pocket so thanks everyone for watching I will see you next week please subscribe to the channel and I'm just so excited you can paint dark furniture <laughs> visit my blog peonylanedesigns.com for more tips tricks and inspiration thanks for watching everyone if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.